Hello! Welcome or welcome back to Fallout McFly, my little corner on the internet where I just sit around here and talk about Fallout and stuff. And this one I'm extremely tired because Fallout 76 has added a new sense of grind and it's got me going. For anyone who doesn't know, Fallout 76 just updated with Milepost Zero, which updated its new legendary crafting system in a form where we have to actually go looking for more legendaries now. It's made looking for legendaries more viable, it's made legendary script more essential, it's made legendary modules more obtainable. But then playing around with it yesterday, I find it's very hard to unlock or obtain one of those little mod legendary boxes. So that's kind of what I'm here for the audience and also just a mini review. For anyone watching, if you're interested, I'd be curious to know in the comments, how many legendary weapons or armor have you really scrapped since the update started? And with how many legendary weapons or armors you scrapped, how many of those little boxes have you gotten? And have you gotten any of the boxes you actually want? Also, maybe as an added bonus, did you get those legendaries from crafting them or did you find them out in the wild? It's I'm just very curious if it's easier to get one of those boxes from something you find out on a legendary enemy or if even you have less chance of getting one of those boxes if you scrap a legendary weapon that you crafted. I'm just very curious. But so far into the honeymoon phase, I'm having a lot of fun with it. I like that I actually have to go looking for legendary weapons more than I already did. But this is just an intro for what we're going to see coming up in the video, which is just a segment from one of the streams. Leading up to the legendary crafting update, I thought I was just going to be crafting named legendary weapons because I figured that'd be the easier way, you know, faster essentially. And then I settled with the unstoppable monster because I figured I'm going to want bloodied, I'm going to want the 40% power attack damage, I do a lot of melee builds. And then from playing around with the system, I don't know if they're going to nerf this in some way, maybe we're not going to be able to craft these weapons so easily in the future. Because it did seem a little too easy, but maybe not for the output of boxes, because by the end of it I only got two boxes. And only one was possibly good I guess. That's even another question, are they called boxes? I've been calling them boxes, people call them mods. What do you call them? <laughs> I guess I don't even really know what I'm trying to say, even though that the update gave me infinite deathclaw hands, and that server lag is probably one of the biggest crutches for this game, because it, it causes so many problems. Here, this is the rest of the clip. This is basically what I did with all my deathclaw hands that I saved up. Uh oh, Richard! <laughs> oh, wow! Scrapping. It should. That's what I will say, Drake. You'd think it would. Especially now with that all being part of crafting now. You'd think. Hold on, what is... Yeah, unstoppable monster. How many can I make, though? Warning. Self-destruct in one minute. Bystanders are advised to seek immediate shelter. How did I just use one deathclaw hand? Did it just craft one for no reason? Seconds. Very cool. Let's hope for a bloody. Alright, so wait, let's check that actually. There's four script right there from that one. And I didn't put scrapper on this one. Hold on. Warning. Self destruct in 20 seconds. I think it's going to blow up. I'm curious how big it's going to go. Scrapper. It does say more scrap, so maybe not. Just scrip, you know. Not scrip, scrap. Oh, I didn't even notice that, Paul. Good call. There wasn't... Oh, cool. That was going to, like, break my house. But yeah, it's probably scrap, not scrip, you know. Yeah, it's still four legendary scrip. Whoa, 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 though. It's going to give me both the hands back? Yeah, it's going to give me both the hands back. So technically, as long as I grind bone shards, plastic, leather, rubber, and steel, I can just, in theory, keep making unstoppable monsters? Is that how we're going to look at it? Is it going to tell me in the top left if I get a node? Hey! Oh, I got Defender. This is what everybody's going to be doing for the next week. Everybody's going to be burnt out from just... <laughs> oh, man. That is going to be fun. Here, wait. Where is it? Defender. Yeah, it gave me... I went in with 21 Deathclaw hands. It just gave me 22. So... 
is that because of Scrapper? I got both hands back? What is that? But then, okay. Does Super Duper work on... If I make an unstoppable monster, will Super Duper work? I doubt it, right? But essentially, is this like the best way for me to try and get a bloodied? Because I have plenty of like bone. I have plenty of the material. Look at that. The least amount I have is a thousand adhesive, which I could do grinding for. But yeah, I guess that's what it'll cost. It'll cost the legendary modules, but that's pretty... I mean, for Fallout first players... Watch me just drain this adhesive right now, right? I, I don't know how many. I should have counted how many I had, right? drop rate though right they weren't kidding when you get that bloody node you're gonna want to sell it damn dude where do they go like that one was called a defender is it a junk item now oh okay it's a mod so i got one three star defender I thought it was funny though, it only took one Deathclaw hand and made me a full one anyway. And look, yeah, and I have 32 Deathclaw hands. So as long as you have the adhesive and the modules, I guess, for my sake, you're just going to keep making Deathclaw hands. You're not going to have to go search for Deathclaw hands. Oh, you can actually get the plan too? I didn't know that was part of it. So let's just keep on spinning. I'm down to waste it for the stream. Let's go. Gives me a reason to grind adhesive. Give me more purpose. I like it. It's like, is the trance lower on created legendary weapons like if i crafted a, a bloody i found out in the wild is it going to be a higher chance to drop getting anything though yeah like nothing not even like another defender right 42 i just got another 10 hands i don't know if it's a glitch or just an unintended way it works because they didn't expect people to be doing super duper and scrapper but those are like basic i don't know but then also like i said that might be a glitch because i had 21 originally and it took one deathclaw hand and still made the unstoppable monster but we're almost done here with modules in this sec so oh it feels good to just burn all that scrap man That's what I could have done in the, the weeks leading up. I wasn't really on my uh, my legendary module game, you know? Look, and yeah, you just keep... Un I just made more unstoppable monsters. Because of the super duper. And people were already talking about... Like, I mean, I was talking about this. I guess I don't expect them to listen oh, to my channel, but... Me, the other people were talking about the unstoppable monster. Like, the grind it was going to be creating... Surprised I didn't look into that more. I was expecting more than four script per dismantle, though. But yeah, you don't really have to go looking for Deathclaw hands once you have some. I'm gonna hop a server. Hold on, let's just try it. Alright, yeah, here, let me dismantle him. And then I'll drop some on the floor and see if it uh does it again. It also could have been like the lag because I was spamming. So maybe it just took the one and it was like, alright, alright. But 
they weren't kid, man. These things are maybe going to be scarce. All right, I'll drop. Like, how many did I even make that time? I have 62 now. 62 Deathclaw hands. Let's drop 61, so I only have one. Let's see if we can still do it. Like I said, it might have been the lag. Yeah, it doesn't let me in. It might have just been the lag. Here, I'll even try to I'll try to recreate it. Here you go. Let's do what, like seven? We'll just see if we can spam it off seven. Oh wait, whoops. Sorry, forty-eight. Duh. All right, seven deathclaw hands. Spam. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> All right, so if you had, I mean, it's not really that much of a glitch, I guess. It's still a glitch. But if you have uneven hands, don't worry. Just spam. That's funny. <sighs> yeah, the server lag will just take it for you. I think I just got a third, too. Hold on. And the super duper works. Man, this will be the way to do it. I'll tell you what, if they don't fix it. Yeah, and I made three. Look at this. I picked them up. I only had enough modules to craft two, but because of the spam, I got an extra... Th oh, wait, no, the super duper. Okay, never mind. No, the super duper did activate. But that is pretty cool still. You don't need even hands, and you can always get an extra one out of it. If you want to, like, you know, really cheat the system, like, when you start to do it, like, unloading like that. Yeah, make sure you're uneven, so then you'll actually gain a deathclaw hand out of it, especially when you uh, dismantle. But now I ended up with way more deathclaw hands than I... Holy crap. Bone and... Oh, that's also a good way to get bone and leather. Hello? Anybody home? Hey! Think with flies. Think. Oh. 